We are going to bring companies in at a, at a level that you've never seen in this country before. A combination of taxes, tariffs, and incentives. Companies are going to be coming into our country, car companies, and many, many, that's for the manufacture of cars. They'll be flowing into our country like never before. All right. Terrific statement. Joining me now is my dear friend Wilbur Ross, former Commerce Secretary, former fabulous businessman, whatever he does, and the author of a great new book called Risks and Returns, Creating Success in Business and Life. Wilbur, welcome, as always. Thank you, Larry. I just want to read you because I've been harping on this. People don't understand negotiations and using tariffs and the process of reciprocity. The uh, Europe's uh, average ta uh, tariff is 50 percent, OK, 50 percent higher than the U.S. China is still twice as high as ours. Brazil, big trading partner, is three and a half times as high as ours. India's tariffs are five times as high as ours. The WTO does nothing about it. So we can't stand by and get ripped off. I right. mean, that's part of this story. And WTO is a big part of the problem because they, they don't even enforce their own rules. The rules are within 90 days, an appellate decision has to be made. They don't do it. Mm. The Boeing Airbus dispute lasted 17 years. What oh, kind of adjudication right. Right. is 17 right. years? It's incredible. There's no point doing it. 90% of the claims brought against the US have been upheld by the WTO. We are the only country that they have ever found had a rule or a regulation in violation of their rule. Mm. Not possible. Not possible. Not possible. So therefore, you know, I have come to believe under your tutelage and Lighthizer and President Trump, I mean, it's really becoming a matter of common sense. We have to do something about that. We Absolutely. are at a competitive disadvantage. We have to do something about these unequal tariffs. I love the prospect of reciprocity, and I also think, particularly with uh, Mr. Trump, he knows how to be a tough negotiator. Sure. And actually, tariffs can wind up bringing the whole structure of tariffs lower. That's the Absolutely. reciprocity idea. Abs Absolutely true. Also, the tax reductions will more or less right. offset a lot of whatever price increase might have come from mm -hmm. the tariffs. So will reduced regulation. Regulation is expensive. People don't focus on that, but it costs you to be regulated. And especially the uncertainty of not knowing what's going to be the next new thing that they do, very destructive to business decisions. And he wants to build up business. This is kind of important part of it. What he's saying is he wants to win the global race for capital, the global race for business right. with the lowest tax cuts, the least regulations. And, you know, as you just mentioned, he'll give people a 15 percent corporate tax if they come do business here so we can build new factories, hire, right. employ, right. raise real wages. All. In other words, it's not a destructive policy. It's a constructive policy. Exactly. And that can't if we're producing more goods, that can't be inflationary. It's not. What's wrong with the Biden economic policies, one of the things is it focuses on building demand. Mm. It puts money mm. in the pocket of people with a very high propensity to consume. Well, when you create demand and no supply, what happens? It's called inflation. Mm. And that's been one of their real problems. But on the tariffs, the other thing, the unfairness of rebating VAT which most countries have when they export, what it means is foreign producers oh, yes. can sell at a lower price in the U.S. than in their home mm, country. Mm. But because we don't have VAT to rebate, our companies have to sell at a higher price in the foreign country mm. than at home. Terribly unfair. It's completely it's wrong. Patently unfair. And of course, the Europeans want to tax our businesses. Oh, That's yeah. a terrible. Trump once said, I don't know if you were in the Oval, you may have been, but we were talking about this, having an argument. Um, the French were leading the way towards taxing our digital companies and other companies. Right. Trump said, only the American legislature can decide taxes for American companies, not European well, legislature. Very wise. And that's true. 
but that's their only defense. They're all going to have to raise their taxes, mm. and they're scared to death that Trump's low tax policy will let American firms be even more competitive. You bet. I got to get out. Wilbur Ross, what's the name of the book coming up? What's the name of the book coming? Put it up, 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 up. Risk and Reward, Risk and Returns by the great Wilbur Ross, dear friend, former Commerce Secretary, businessman um, extraordinaire. Thank you, Wilbur.